All right, I'm gonna be making an instructional video on how to modify the Nerf. I'm pretty sure they're called the Eliminators, but if I'm wrong, you can correct me and I will change the title of the video or whatever. These are these very tiny guns that operate similar to a recon, except for that they don't have the breech. You see, you take a Nerf dart, put it in the front, you pull back this thing and you see that the plunger tube is on the outside, just like with a recon, and you shoot it. They're actually pretty powerful for their size, but we obviously want to make it more powerful. So what I'm going to do just for this video is just a simple air restrictor removal. For this modification, you need, most importantly, eye protection. I'm just using the Nerf glasses. They're fine for this. A screwdriver. That's just to open and close the gun. And a Dremel, preferably, or a drill bit if you want. I mean, or drill if you want. And for the Dremel attachments, you want a drill bit and a small-ish sanding attachment just like the little cone alright now I'm gonna unscrew the gun I will resume recording when it is open alright I have the gun unscrewed as you see the cocking handle or whatever you want to call it is off now this gun was pretty easy to open there's only uh, I think eight screws tiny little thing so now I'm gonna open the gun but what I hear the catch spring back here is very uh bitchy and can shoot out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hand over it at the top where the catch probably is. I've never modified one of these guns before. Oh, I forgot a screw. Sorry about that. Alright, now I'm going to open it. Make sure the catch spring doesn't fly out on me. Okay. Take this ca cash spring right here. Let's set that aside. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. All right. Now let's let's remove the plunger assembly, and it looks like the cocking bar, right here, cocking bar. Uh, and the trigger. Let's put all this aside, actually. There's very few pieces to the gun. There's the catch. Here's the empty shell. Now, I assume what we need for this is this piece. There's the thingy thing. The thingy thing. You pull it out, and it looks like the air restrictors are back here. So, whoa, there's actually this black very heavily lubricated ring thing. Put that aside. Try not to wipe too much of that crap off of it. Alright, now what we're gonna do is Dremel. Alright, before you start to Dremel, obviously, sorry, put on your eye protection. Alright. I'm gonna take the Dremel with your drill bit attached. And see, mine goes up to 30,000 RPM, but you don't need that for this. So what you want to do, take the Dremel and stick it in the back of here, put it on maybe halfway. Turn it up. Alright, I just went through the back. Now, I'm going to continue to do this and I will continue recording after I have gotten most of the inside out. Right, I've gotten a lot of the inside out, but that main air restrictor piece is still in there. I knocked out the center air restrictor and the peg, but I still need to get the rest out. So for that, take off the drill bit attachment and attach this sanding one. Keep your eye protection on, obviously. Put that in there. Put it in the back where you started it. See how I'm doing. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's do it some more. Alright, cool. Now, if I don't know if you can see or not, but you should be able to see. Uh, there we go. All the way through. The air shaker is out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear off just the excess dust and I'll start putting it back together. Alright, if you finished the modification and you got all the pieces into your gun correctly, it should look like this. The catch spring is right here. The catch mechanism is right here with the metal bar through it. Trigger is placed right here. 
The spring is in here with behind this wall, not behind this wall. The return spring is around this yellow thing. This is painted, pointed down, and then this locks into place with the shell. And then that's it. And th this, you'll see the, this on the other side, there's another one. And it locks into that piece right there. So that's what loads the gun. Um, sorry, I just dropped a screw. Um, and so now I'm going to screw it back up and then uh, give it a firing test. Alright, now the gun's all back together. It catches and everything. I'm just going to be doing a firing test. Now... For the original Eliminator, it's going to be probably 5 to 10 feet, fit, 10 feet more powerful. Not much more just because it's only an air restrictor mod. If you want to make it more powerful, replace the spring and the catch spring or do something else. So let me cock this real quick. Sorry about that. And on the hub. And it's, like I said, 5 to 10 more feet powerful. It's still... Pretty accurate and very good for its small size. Alright, that's it.